Hi, I'm Sherry McGill, and you're watching Lessons Learned. Hey, what are you doing way up there? Are you wanting to be a fly on the wall in my sewing room? Well, I got nothing to hide, and today I'm really going to expose myself. Yes, I'm going to drag all of this stuff out and get it organized. So hang on. Hang on for a while. Just wanted to show you, this is all the stuff I had left over from making masks a couple years ago. I mean, I just put away a bunch of it, but there's still a bunch more interfacing and also the loops and all of that. So I'm just going to go and put those things in their places according to color. So I have these little chalk board things and I have a chalk pen like a marker and I'm just marking these baskets for what they have in them and that way I won't have to guess even if it's up high I can tell which one it is. I did one for panels, I did one for batik, I'm doing one by color like green, blue, red, pink, orange and so and so. I originally got these bins from Michaels and I wanted them for individual projects that I was working on but instead they've come, become storage so I'm trying to eliminate that today so I'm going to end up doing something else with what's in here it's just fabric that I've pre-cut myself and other pre-cuts I hate this fabric. I got it from Darlene Michaud a couple of three years ago. Never used a piece of it. I'll hang on to it, I guess. <laughs> Ta-da! This looks like a good place for the bee project. Guess what I still have to do? The panel! The after quilt. Where is that stuff? Hope I uncover it. Ugh. It pains me to fold this because I've pressed it, but I'm going to have to. <clears throat> I 
Okay, where's the rest of that stuff? Ha! Ah, here it is! This is a current project, isn't it? It's the garden windmill. Let's make a box for that. But guess what? First we have to unload this. So let's put our windmill garden stuff in here. I got one. This is a flimsy, uh, supposedly my mother made, out of some of her clothes. It's not very big, but I was thinking about making a, uh, not putting batting in it and putting a backing on it. Maybe a little trim around the edge, a rick rack or something, bound into the binding and make a little tablecloth out of it. I can't say for sure, but I think I remember some of this fabric from when I was really little. I don't know. I think it was a quilt top she was working on, but kind of ran out of material to work with. We don't know. I guess that's technically a UFO that I never did do, isn't it? Also, a long time ago, I was collecting needlework, like antique needlework, to put into quilt blocks. I might do that someday, still. I don't know. I need to do something else with it than other than this box, I think. Costume stuff that I made for a little play. I should empty the stuff out that's in there. There's a pair of scissors some ribbon, pin cushion. I'll empty this. Trim. Can we use that? Titan titanium coated scissors. I don't even remember having those. This is what happens when you let things pile up. I think I will put the, the embroidery pieces in here. And I think I have some more here hanging. And I could really use this hanger. So I'm going to stick these in here too. I went through great pains to wash these, get them white, starch them and all that stuff. So hopefully one day I can get to that project again. I kind of lost interest in that. That's a, that's a UFO I didn't realize I had. 
it was over there under a stack of these boxes and then this also is a UFO so I'm gonna put it in this box and maybe this week pick out the other materials I need for that so there's my project boxes and my kits box so I need to figure out what to do with the rest of this I've gotten a little bit off track here with this uh, getting my fabric separated into colors but that's my goal today and I'm going to get it underway well here's a project box too so let's put it here that there okay now this is another experiment that I had done that went wrong so I'm just going to scrap this yeah I'm going to scrap it So this can go back in my stash of, looks like maybe it would be blue. <clears throat> this can go in my interfacing. Which is over here. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to take these. This is a tapestry that I backed with Sherpa and did a little quilting on. It's kind of like a little throw. Nothing special. It's out here. Uh, oh, I showed you the back, didn't I? Another Darlene purchase and I have another one of these too that's kind of in oranges so I can't see myself sitting out here wrapped up in a blanket so I guess I'll take this in the house along with my uh, what's this called pinwheel quilt because it's finished I'm also going to take out the rocking chair and that set of metal shelves because it just takes up too much room. So I'll be right back. Don't you fly off. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not, but that overflowing box of green, I was able to float down into this. And uh, about a third of 
the way up is still empty. So my bigger pieces that I had on my boards, I just folded them in half. So I'm gonna stick those in here. And then my, these were uh, pieces that I got that were in the bolt. So some of them are, you know, several yards. So I'm just, I just folded those in thirds and I'm just gonna set them on top. So when I need to get into the green bin, I'll just take the, these off <clears throat> and look down into my smaller pieces. I think that'll be fine. As long as I can just limit each color to one box, I think that'll be, that'll be good. So I can't buy any more green. <laughs> okay, we must carry on. to do the yellows, oranges, peaches, a little bit of brown. And then uh, I will come back and show you how the wall turned out once I got everything in its category. So we'll be back soon. So you can go fly off now. All right, so the fabric organization is done. And let's just start at the top. I have a pretty little box up there that says kits and then as we go down we have 12 cubes that have categories of fabric or colors of fabric and as we go down we have some miscellaneous items so let me get a little bit closer so you can see that I used um, some chalkboard labels and these are just on here with a with a little string um, I started out with some that were sideways. Uh, I had to write on them sideways to get the words on there. And I'm thinking about redoing those to be these. So now I have a lot of my fabric by color, or like I said, type. The green one is over, nearly overflowing. It's very tight, so I cannot buy any more green. And then I have orange, peach, and yellow, and there's some brown in there too that's overflowing, which could actually be subbed out into a couple types, a couple colors. And there's pre-cuts. So yeah, I might, I might change these out to, to this type. And then I have a box of orphan blocks. I have a box of selvages. I have uh, yo-yos that I can work on whenever, kind of like scrap quilting. I have an office supply box, and then this one's empty. And then now I'm going to go over to my cutting table, which is also uh, standing on two um, shelves as well. Sorry about the ladder. I'm still working on this side, but I did get my labels on those. So there's six cubes on each side. 
And these are different labels. These are like little tags, but they're also the chalk marker. So I don't mind that they're all sideways. It's just that the fabric on the wall, I'd like them all to be the same. So there's that. And then over here on my ironing table, I found some new baskets that I like better that I might use in here. Um, I just haven't decided yet, but I labeled all of my 12 drawers over here. I have two that doesn't have a label yet. They're empty, but I have, you know, like ironing bobbins, pins, um, Velcro, glue gun, yarn needles, stencils, machine parts, trim, rick rack, and then two two bottom ones that are empty. So I have a little room now to to grow some, which I don't really need to grow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's what's going on there. I have purchased a couple of drawers that are 24 inches wide that are out of this same type of material, this white board material for um, wide backs and bolts. And that way uh, those can be put away. But for the most part, I have everything organized. Just got to get my room clean now. So we'll work on that too. All right. Thanks for sticking with me. I got distracted a few times, but we got her done. All right. See you soon. Bye. Oh,